All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson nine. And in this lesson, students are going to be using the greater than, less than, and wait, wait, did I do it right? Okay, you know, you get the symbols and the equal sign to compare a couple of different numbers. Uh, the, the really cool thing is this lesson immediately jumps straight in with that classic mnemonic of the alligator always eating the bigger number. And uh, so let's just get started on this. So here we have um, our alligators, and we have some blank spaces, and the idea is we're supposed to put the numbers where they go to make the alligator, of course, eat that larger number, because we always want the alligator to eat the greater number, the larger number. Uh, so what I would do with my kids is I would be looking at this alligator, and I'd hold on to the 10, and I'd say, hmm, where should the 10 go? And of course, the students are thinking about it in relation to the 20. And I'd say, would it go here? And they'd say, no. And I'd put it over here, and they'd say, yes. And then we can put the 20 there. And of course, now we have the alligator, which is facing to the left, eating that 20, which is the greater number. So now what we want to do is we want to read the sentence from left to right, like we're reading a book. And... Now that we've got it set up correctly and we're looking at 20 and we're looking at 10 and we know that 20 is greater than 10, that means we're going to say it that way. That's our number sentence. 20 is greater than 10. All right, well, let's keep moving on. So we've got 15 and 17. So the idea would be, well, let's put 15 here. Let's put 15, uh, 17 there. And sure enough, the alligator is indeed eating the larger number. But remember, as we read it from left to right, we know that 15 is less than 17. So that means our statement, the way we're going to say this number sentence is 15 is less than 17. It makes sense that way, right? We don't need a, a mnemonic for how to remember the less than versus the greater than symbol. We just know that the alligator is eating the greater number, and so now that the numbers are in the position, we can say 15 is less than 17, because it is. Now, if we really wanted to, we could put the 17 here and the 15 here, but the alligator would have to turn around and now, all of a sudden, that same two numbers, but a different number sentence. Now we're going to say 17 is greater than 15, while up here we say 15 is less than 17. So here we have our classic kind of practice comparing with our um, alligators, in this case, are greater than and less than symbols. But what's really cool is students get to do a little bit of differentiating because uh, they get to choose what numbers they put in here. And we can even s eliminate a bunch of these problems and spend a lot of time on any one problem to talk about what are all the options that we could have that would work. For example, this one right here, you've got two tens and four ones, so we have the number 24. And it's supposed to be less than because the alligator is eating this number, the larger number. So 24 is less than this number. So we need to think of what are some digits that we could put in the tens place to make this a true story. And boy, there's a lot of choices we can do. We could do a 3 to make it 33, or we could do a 4 or a 5, etc. Some questions would be, well, what can we not put there? Oh, well, we cannot put a 2 or a one, those would be bad, those won't work. And that's the idea, is parents and teachers, this is a great opportunity to allow your students to be a little bit creative and a little bit um, to differentiate themselves, either up or down, um, depending on their own level and their own interest, right? And so here, boy, you get the whole blank slate. You get to choose any sets of tens and ones and tens and ones such that this is a true statement. The one thing I'm going to call you out on is F. This one's kind of tricky. It's kind of tricky because we know that this number being 110 and seven ones, so 17, is greater than this number. 
So if you think about it, can we put a 2 here? No. Can we put a 1 there? No. Uh, boy, that just can we put a 3? No, we can't put anything. So what is the only digit that we could put right here? It would be a 0. As in 17 is greater than 7. That's a tricky one. Lastly, a little bit of fun. We get a little number card, and we are going to look, and we're going to read these numbers from left to right, so 35 and 25. Which number is greater? Well, I mean, how is 35 compared to 25? Well, 35 is greater than 25, so that means we're going to bring it down here. And then how about 16 and 17? How does 16 compare with 17? Well, 16 is less than. So we can put them here. And then let's look at, oh, how about 31 and 23? Oh, 31 is greater than 23, so it'll go down here. And lastly, where how does 12 compare with 21? Oh, 12 is less than 21, so we can just sort them in piles like that. Kind of creates a little bit of an interactive experience. So parents and teachers consider cutting these out and playing a game, a sorting game for your students to play. And that wraps up first grade, module four, lesson nine, using these official symbols to compare numbers.